Well, hey, everybody, Jim Hall, you ought to know. And this show, we're going to feature, well, an artist from the 1980s. In fact, a current artist from 2008 into 2009. A whole new CD. It's called Just Me, and it's Tiffany. You might remember Tiffany from the mall tours in the 1980s. I think we're alone now. I saw him standing there. Could have been. Big number one hits that hit the Billboard charts. And we're going to visit with Tiffany. She's out on tour. And guess what? The new kids on the block even opened for Tiffany on her world tour. Well, it's a whole new CD, a whole new sound, and Tiffany is bigger and better than ever. And she's going to be featured right here on this particular show as we come to you here on Odyssey Television and around the world at www.odysseytv.org. Why are we visiting with Tiffany? Brand new album? Simply because you ought to know. Stay with us, everybody. Tiffany is coming up. Welcome back, everybody. Jim Hall, you ought to know. And I had the privilege of working with this young lady in 19, I believe it was 87 or 88. I'm going to have to dig back in my archives. And things were a little well, different. It was remember. called, well, it was called a mall tour <laughs> yes. back then. And we did a lot of malls. And I did a lot of malls. So years, actual years, I'm really bad at. <laughs> well, this is Tiffany, everybody. Pop icon right here. And you'll, you'll remember, I think we're alone now, of course. Yes, I think we're alone now. Could have been. All this time, I saw him standing there. Used well, to get out I there mean, and have a blast in the mall. So well, yeah, you're talking about songs that went all the way to number one. Yes, very thankful about all of that. You know, I mean, I was just a little girl that wanted to sing and be on stage, and you know, my dream came true. So well, it did come true. And let's talk about some of the history because we're going to go back a ways. You're from Norwalk. I, I know am. Norwalk well. I know the Norwalk Grange. Who walked in the Grange and found you somewhere back in there somewhere? And you were at the Palomino Club. I was at the Palomino. Well, Hoyt Axton yeah. is where I actually started um, sharing the stage with him when I was nine years old. And I couldn't really be in the clubs or anything, so I'd stand outside and then hop on stage and do a couple of songs with him and then go, then go back home, you know, back to Norwalk. And, um, you know, throughout the years, I've just been really privileged to work with a lot of different people. But Hoyt really was the one who gave me somewhat my start and, and just kind of believed in me. He's, he was an awesome person. Well, we have some, uh, we've, we're actually going to show some of the concert from here at the Cultural Center, Victoria Gardens. Fantastic, because we're going to talk about the new album coming up. But let's stay in the past here just for a little bit, because you talked about a mishmash on stage of country music, a mix. You've, you've actually got songs on the dance charts. You've had the number one hits. I mean, we're talking about sales over 16 million albums. Yes. Fantastic. Albums. I mean, <laughs> wow. Talk about the dance part of it for just a second, because that's become, I mean, people are yeah. loving that. You know, I mean, that's kind of currently what I'm doing right now. And that was all really inspired by my fans uh, who just kind of said, you know, we loved I Think We're Low Now. We love that dance direction. We know that you're passionate about singer-songwriter stuff and your country past and your, your rocky edge kind of thing. But we would really love it if you could just do, you know, a little few dance songs in between. And a couple of years ago, I worked with a couple of different producers, went in the in the studio and recorded an album called Dust Off and Dance. And that kind of just spawned this whole transitional period for me. And now, in the last year, I've had two dance songs on the Billboard dance chart, which was lovely. I mean, it's unexpected, and I really enjoy working with new producers and well, letting them that, just do their thing, you know? Yeah, but that's huge. It I mean, huge. just to make the dance charts alone, you're talking about these are big number of people that are out there saying, hey, I like what right. she's doing. Well, I, I, I'm thrilled. I mean, now, you know, if you walk into a club, you're hearing my music. So for me, that's awesome. Um, it's a great feeling. I, I'm, I'm getting to people that don't necessarily know Tiffany. They didn't know the mall tours. I mean, we're talking people that are 18, 19, 20, um, and on. Uh, so, you know, if you walk into a club, you're hearing this song, and you're like, who is this? Oh, Tiffany. Oh, I know that name. And, and they're coming to the show. So it's kind of like having this whole new audience as well. Well, let's walk over here just for a second, Tiffany. What I want to do is uh, look at the picture here. This is where, when I was doing the malls, with the radio station and following the tour and we were giving stuff away she was bouncing all over the place at these malls there she is there 
Here she is back here. I mean, we're talking about on the dance charts again. You've got the new album called Just Me. Just Me. Um, and then my solo projects, like I said, the dance singles, one called Higher and Just Another Day. Now, these singles, I mean, I was listening in there. Man, Just Me, Just Another Day. I listened to the whole album. There's one on there, uh, Feels Like Love, is it? Yes. Man, yes. I Thank mean. Thank you. I wish we pulled off the singles like we did in the old day when we had the 45s and I, I mean those would drive right to number one. You know? Things just change a little bit. You know, I, I, what I love about the industry now though is that it's pretty instant to get into the fans' hands um, and, and I love that really. Uh, you, you know, you get the instant reaction. I've always been an artist that adds new songs to my set, sees how, you know, I see how the audience reacts to it. If they like it, I go and record it. So I'm very honest with my fans and my fans are very honest with me sometimes I'm like oh gosh you know but I respect that and and I think as an artist you have to be in tune with what your fans want um, so you know I'm so thankful that they allow me to do these different types of projects um, and just really grow as an artist as a singer-songwriter uh, you know I am a redhead so I'm a little mischievous and I love to uh, get myself into a few different things um, and and again as an artist I I love music so I don't ever want to say no to an opportunity that sounds like it could be fun or could be something that I could grow from. Um, so I love doing collab different collaborations and just kind of stretching myself a little bit. All right. Well, we're not going to leave you with that because we're going to be right back. And then we're going to show you some of the concert from tonight because you're just not going to believe Tiffany on stage. And I'm going to ask about George Jones and some other people when we come back. Why are we here? Simply because, like it says right here. You ought to know. Stay with us, everybody. I got Tiffany right here. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Jim Hall, you ought to know. And there she is, and here she is with us right here, Victoria Gardens, the Cultural Arts Center. Fantastic show tonight, too. Oh, thank you. So much fun. Well, let's, I mentioned George Jones. Tell me about the, what it was like. You performed with some country people. You had your roots kind of in country music, and you had yeah. desires and directions you wanted to go. Talk about some of the early days in country. Well, I mean, that's what my parents listened to at home. So I grew up listening to country. Loretta Lynn, Emmylou Harris is one of my favorite artists ever. And uh, I was very lucky to perform with Mickey Gillian and Johnny Lee and opened up for Wailing Jennings when I was nine years old. Uh, you know, just out there just with a country band, just singing songs, Delta Dawn, a um, couple different Roseanne Cash songs. I, I just wanted to sing. I mean, I started off singing at El Cajon in San Diego, mm -hmm. and my dad at the time kind of surprised me. We went there for the fair. Uh, the next thing I know, I was being... Up on stage. Well, I was being introduced, and my dad looked at me and goes, do you, you want to do this? And I was like, okay, and I jumped up there, and I only knew one song at the time, which was Delta Dawn, but I worked it, and, and it was just addictive for me. You know, I just wasn't, I wasn't ever that shy little girl. I was always singing, so for my family's sake, I'm glad this worked out, because I really did torture them, those poor people. Poor people. <laughs> I'm going to go right off the music track and come back to it, but I also heard you like to cook. Oh, I love to cook. Fine cuisine. What's one of your favorite dishes? Well, um, I love Mediterranean food, mm -hmm. so for me, tabbouleh, um, a, a dish called lube I love, uh, which is beans and kind of like a meat stew. Um, let's see, make some rock and Italian food, although I'm not Italian. Well, that's funny you mention that. <laughs> we happen to have a kitchen set up. They're going to bring in all the pasta. No, I'm kidding. No, we're not going to do that. Like, it's okay. not a cooking show. I know how to this is a talk. music show. In fact, we're going to feature some of the music of Tiffany coming up here in just a few minutes. Tiffany, i got to take you back to the music music though, uh, songwriting. You've got some fantastic songs. You did some of, one of your first songs and you've done some of your others here tonight. Talk about those. Uh, you know, I always wanted to be a songwriter. You know, when I was 12, 13, I would just write poems down and, and, and I was just really, that was just something for me that I was kind of afraid to show people. Singing, I open my mouth and it comes out and I'm not really shy about that. But other aspects of me being an artist, it's taken time, and I really needed to be around people that kind of nurtured that and kind of allowed me to fall on my face a little bit without 
pointing fingers or making fun or, or just kind of trying to take over and mold me. And I worked with um, a, a guy named Lauren Gold, who's my, my pianist as well, and we've traveled a lot around the world and stuff, but he was one of the first people that I started writing my songs with. And, uh, and also Tommy Wright out in Nashville, Tennessee. So, you know, working with other fellow musicians and being able to just be honest or just kind of show them your ideas and just having that comfort zone really for me has has allowed me to kind of just grow as a writer and get and get the confidence so you know good friends they, they last forever and uh, it's it's awesome to be able to be out there nowadays and really perform my songs as well well listen to this because uh, when Tiffany was in her world tour guess who opened her show for her uh, new Kids on the Block. New Kids on the Block opened oh, for you. Oh, oh, oh yeah. yeah. And then out you came, fantastic shows, I mean, around the world. You traveled to how many different countries? Can you even recall? Well, we traveled, um, I think, actually only in the States. Uh, we kind of branched off and did our own thing after the second year because they just went crazy, crazy, crazy up the charts. And, um, you know, I had been touring for two and a half years straight. So I kind of got off the bus and went home for a second. And, um, you know, my life went into a different direction. I ended up getting married and having a baby and all kinds of stuff. But um, it's great to see them back out. It's great to see them, you know, recording. And I haven't had a chance to go to a show because I've been working. But, you know, hopefully, eventually, I will get out there. I haven't talked to the guys in a long time. So it would be really nice to catch up. Well, you are you working in the studio, working on any projects now? I'm always working on the solo dance things um, and different singles and stuff like that. So I'm going to take the holidays off a little bit and then get back out there, get back in the studio. And I'm always touring, so after the first of the year, I'll be out there pounding the pavement. But, you know, I really do love it. I love being in the dance clubs. I love doing the live band stuff. Um, you know, I just love to sing, so it makes me really, really happy. Well, I remember trying to follow you around the malls as you bounced your way around <laughs> to tonight, this yeah. fantastic show tonight. And when you talk about these songs and this music, you certainly have a passion for it. Well, thank you. I, I, I do. I mean, I, you know, I kind of say to people, well, I know no better because I've been doing this for so long. But again, it really is. This was my dream and I'm just living my dream. Um, sometimes the music industry is very complicated and, and just it's not as simple as just getting up there and singing. But, you know, the 45 minutes or the hour and a half that I spent on the stage, it, it's just, it's an amazing feeling. And the, when the crowd's rocking out and they're into it and I sing, children behave, and everybody goes crazy, it's, it's the best feeling in the world. Put the hair back down on my neck now. <laughs> she went right back into it, one of my favorite things. I think we're alone now, and you're going to see that featured coming up next. Don't go anywhere, everybody. Tiffany, thank you so much for talking with us. Thank you. And we know you're going to enjoy this part of the show, simply because, like with every show, you ought to know. Stay with us, everybody. Tiffany coming up on stage.
better than what could never be. And oh, and oh could have been so beautiful, could have been so Sing loud, sing along. I think we're alone now. It doesn't seem to be in it one around. I think we're alone now. Beating of our hearts is the only sound. You guys ready to sing? It doesn't seem to be in it one around. I think we're alone now. Beating of our hearts is the only sound. I think we're alone now. It doesn't seem to be in it one around. Of our hearts 
Thank you for having us. God bless you guys. Love you. Thank you so much. Thank you.